Hi everybody, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Um, I filmed myself getting ready this morning and I came up with this peachy, blown out, reddish eye look um, with a little bit of glowiness, of course, you know how we do it around here. Um, so if you're interested in seeing how I got this makeup look, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my skincare. I'm using the Rodan and Field Soothe System. Now, good skincare is half the battle of beautiful makeup. You have to, have to cleanse your face, use a moisturizer at the very least. I'm applying sunscreen now which I use in place of a primer and my eye cream. This is my normal skincare routine in the morning and it just makes my skin feel so amazing all day long. Next, I'm just putting some Pure Lease Lip Butter because I have extremely dry lips. And now I'm applying my foundation. I'm using a combination of the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum and the Instant Ready Super BB by Physicians Formula. Now I'm putting the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose just to add a little extra coverage. I'm grabbing my RCMA No Color Powder to set my nose and chin area. Now, of course, I'm grabbing my Just Peachy Mattes and I'm using this shade which matches my skin color to set my eyes and under my eyes. And my Sweet Peach Bronzer, which is kind of like a bronzer and a blush combined. Now I'm using my Physician's Formula Bronzer to add a little extra warmth to my face and just carve out a little bit of a contour in the bottom of my cheek. I'm going to use the same shade to contour my nose and I just do a light contour by drawing two lines down my nose and just on the tip and then just kind of blending it away so it adds a little bit of shadow. Now I'm going to use my ColourPop Cream Highlighter in Wisp and applying it with my beauty sponge. This is just such a beautiful glowy highlight. It's so intense. You have to use just the smallest amount or else you just glow like intensely. Look at that glow, oh my gosh. Going back into my Just Peach mattes and using this beautiful kind of terracotta peach and putting that all over the lid and then blending it slightly adding a little bit more to build up the color and then blending those edges to soften it. And just continue until you have the right shape, the right intensity, and moving on to the second eye. I'm going back in with a crease brush and adding a lighter shade to blend into my crease just to diffuse any harsh lines and blow it out a little bit. And now my favorite color in that palette, Sangria, I'm just adding those to the outer corners of my eyes to add a little extra intensity and going back in to blow out any of those harsh lines. And now I'm adding that skin tone color again all over the top to my brow bone and underneath my eye. Going back into that terracotta peach color and putting that just on the bottom third under my eye um, and that lighter shade here for the rest of the eye to complete my lower lash line. Now I'm going into the lightest, almost white shade and using that just to add a little bit of a natural matte highlight and then just setting my face with my Milani Make It Last. I like to grab my sponge and just pat in any powdery type areas. Now for the fun part, I'm going to attempt a wing. I'm still quite a beginner at wing liner. You can see I'm out of frame here, whoops. Um, but I just draw out how far I want my wing connect a triangle back and fill it in. I am definitely not the world's best wing liner, but I do try and practice so that I get better. And I think that at least I have a camera ready wing. It may not be the best, no judgment, but you know, I try. And then I grab a little uh, concealer brush and just kind of fix a little mistake there in the end. That's a good tip. And I just quickly ran in with my ColourPop eyeliner in Best O in my waterline. And now I'm applying my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Look at those lashes. I can't believe how much my lashes have grown since I've been using Lash Boost. 
Now for lip, I'm going to use an EOS lip balm, a Sephora lip liner just in a neutral color. And then I'm going to grab a Bare Minerals liquid lipstick and apply that. It's kind of like a very neutral shade with a hint of mauve in it. I really like it. For my hair, I sleep in my hair overnight in a French braid and that creates these beautiful lush waves. I'm now taking my CoverGirl Clear Mascara and I'm using that to set down any little baby hairs and flyaways so my hair stays in place. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and this look that I put together for you. I really appreciate you watching and I love you guys so much.